In this video, we'll talk about how to set a NAC of 4 series to a wing airfoil and how adjusting these parameters will enable you to change the name or match the name of an existing NACA 4 series or set the parameters that make sense for your design. Now, the last two digits here are the thickness to cord ratio on this slider, so we can set that to something like 12%. The camber is the first digit here, and that's in whole percent. So in this case, if we do 0 0.02, that's 2%. This second digit is how many tenths back the, cam the maximum camber location is. So in this case, it's set to 20%. Let's set that to 40%. So now we've created a NACA 2412, meaning that we have 2% camber, 40% back from the leading edge, and a 12% thickness to cord ratio. So that's how you can alter these parameters to create a specific NACA 4 series airfoil. With this airfoil and some of the others, you'll either have the option to sharpen the trailing edge or leave it blunt, and some even allow you to invert the airfoil. We'll discuss why you would invert the airfoil in a different video, but for now, let's take a look at the trailing edge and see what sharpened trailing edge does for us. If we deactivate this, notice that we get this nice perpendicular to the camber line blunt trailing edge, and it's thickened out as a ratio of the thickness and the cord, and it makes it appropriately blunt for this airfoil. If we turn sharpen trailing edge back on, notice that the cord, the camber line, none of that is changing. It's just giving you either a blunt or a sharp trailing edge. So that's how you can work with NACA 4 Series airfoils within your model in OpenVSP.